because it is quite a, a broad degree and we don't sort of focus on one specific programming language or one technology or one path of computing such as networking, we kind of try to give a broad um, view of the whole area. I think one of the the biggest benefits of this course overall is the is the practical aspect because I understand that learning the theory behind your programming languages and why things work is really important, but I think it's even more important, especially to employers and yourself if you want to start your own business in programming or anything, to actually know how to do it, not just the theory behind it. So overall, it kind of prepares you uh, for the world of like work because of like the dynamics of it and it kind of encourages you to study a lot on your own time as well because um, you're giving like the basic things here but if you want to research anymore you're welcome to do so when you're given the opportunity to. You learn how to become a more professional developer and how to do things the right way. So in third year we designed a game that was meant to teach children about cybersecurity. They kept our options open for how we were able to do it so it was up to us to choose the technology that we wanted to use, whether it was a gaming engine, developing in any specific language we wanted. As long as we stuck to the specifications of the coursework, we were able to just design in any way we wanted, which really gave us the freedom to like find ourselves as developers. You learn all about source control and how to manage things in the cloud so you don't just lose all your data if you accidentally erase things. There's two group project modules and that's where students will work together in teams um, on a software project. Where possible we try to get external clients involved with that as well, so maybe companies in and around the, the Dundee area um, if they've got a, a problem or they want some proof of concept work done. So they're working with somebody who they've never met before um, and who has a real vested interest in that project and, and it's succeeding. And it gives them um, a real feel of how they would be working with an external client in, in, in real industry. Obviously in the later years we do the Amazon Web Services content that really deals with the cloud, which is a, a big area at the moment. So that's really attractive uh, to, to prospective employers um, for things like cloud engineers, DevOps engineers um, and whatnot. They, they really do provide amazing facilities for computing. So there, I think there's like five computer labs <laughs> in the university, not restricted to certain hardware. So if you want to use a Mac, go have a Mac. If you want to go to the library and work, but you don't have your laptop, you borrow a laptop from the library. The students help each other. That's, I think that's like the benefit of having a really, like a smaller community, a smaller university, is the students and the lecturers have this closer bond with each other. And you can kind of just like back and forth with each other without feeling awkward or feeling like you're interrupting people. It just, it just feels really friendly. It's like a little family um, for me. It's uh, very intimate because it's so small and you meet so many different people um, from different backgrounds. It's just this feeling of not being alone and being supported and having someone to talk to whenever you need to, uh, which is pretty good for a university because especially when people are coming from different places uh, and if it's a new place and you don't know anyone, it can be really intimidating to not know people. It's just like very welcoming and you'll feel safe. So yeah, I really like it.